What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So we're going to take a look at Cyberpunk 2077 on the ROG Ally Z1 Extreme model up against the newer MSI Claw with the Intel Ultra 7. And it's pretty interesting. Has been since I've been testing the MSI Claw for a few weeks. Cyberpunk is definitely a worst case scenario for that device, but I found this to be an interesting comparison to take a look at here. Nonetheless, settings wise, we're going to use FSR and XESS. I did a medium preset and then just knocked anything high down to medium or low there. So it's mostly medium with a touch of low at 1080p and we'll get into it here. So 1080p, medium low, FSR2 quality at first, unplugged for both devices. So 25 watts for the Ally and then we'll bounce between 28, 35, 36, 4. The call depending on really what it's up to there. Now a big difference when it comes to the temperatures and the power needed to get the performance that you're seeing here when it comes to almost half the frame rate over on the claw and a lot of stutters and issues and hiccups especially in areas that are outside here which happens in real world gameplay as well now like I said this is a worst case scenario game the claw actually does play a lot of games quite well but cyberpunk being as popular as it is and as many of us that play it on the handhelds it is disappointing to see at launch it being so broken and 27 verse 46 for the same settings here fsr2 unplugged performance for both of the devices now doing xess this is native to the claw versus fsr which is native to amd or the ally so it does help close the gap a little bit as you know the ally is going to lose a frame or two here or there and the msi claw is going to gain a little bit with xess being native over fsr but because the game is fairly broken and i'm pretty sure that the ultra 7 would be capable of running this game better if there wasn't such issue be it the power balancing vram issues the drivers whatever is really keeping it from getting the performance i think it should get it's definitely not able to hold its own in any way up against the ROG ally here 28 and 40 here for our frame rates for the two devices here now i want to go over and do plugged in because the claw does do a lot better in a lot of games plugged in this intel chip is super power hungry and this does help a little bit on cyberpunk at 1080p 720p you can actually get up a couple of 10 15 fps higher if you set that as your base but uh sticking with 1080p here though with these settings fsr2 quality plugged in we do get a little bit better performance, but you're still going to see um, a lot of like the hiccups and the stutters and things that just don't happen on the Ally. They also don't happen on the Go or the Steam Deck. The uh, Steam Deck, the Go, and the Ally all run Cyberpunk much better than the way that the Claw is able to handle the game right now. So anyway, plugged in 31.92 and 47 here for the Ally. Now, I also wanted to take a look at XESS while plugged in here because, again, being native uh, to the ARC architecture, the call does get some benefit there. And you do see, except for the hiccups and skips, it closes the gap even more plugged in than it did unplugged when it comes to that. We almost matched FPS 34, 35. So you can see XESS has such potential for the claw over FSR to help it out when it comes to the ally. But because of the broken nature of the game, you see here it actually closed the gap pretty well in that area too. We still run into these spots that are just really screwed up, performance falls apart, and I'd love to see them get this fixed up so we can get some more competition here up against AMD. I love seeing Intel come into the game, but uh, Cyberpunk being a really broken game like this is an issue. So 32 to 41 now. Real world gameplay, I'm not going to get too deep here. It's just as broken as you saw the end of the benchmark for the claw here. If you go anywhere... Uh, Phantom Liberty areas are even worse, but if you really go around anywhere, the claw just suffers to ever really get things running smoothly. It's just a constant issue with hiccups and losing frames and frame time. It's just a bit of a mess, and I'm sure this chip can run the game fine, but there's definitely issues uh, when it comes to it here. So not great for launch window of the claw here. Uh, same thing we're trying to drive and, and move around. It's a real shame because there's a lot I do like about the claw, but um, being similar to the Ally, even if it didn't beat or come up to the Z1 Extreme performance, I certainly would have seen it like to have smooth, consistent performance in this game uh, for a better comparison. But <laughs> let's go from here and jump over to the Ally in pretty much the same scene. So load this up here. Much higher FPS, all the same settings compared here. Both of them unplugged, running as high as they can. So 25 watt turbo for the Ally. And um, we're not getting those same stutters and dips. We get a few here and there, but nothing like the brokenness that we're seeing over there. So this game's still running good here uh, on the ROG Ally. And again, I play Cyberpunk on the Steam Deck. I play it on the Legion Go. I play on the Ally. Um, the Claw was just very surprising to me that there's so much issue with that game right now. 
uh, at launch and pretty much an unplayable uh, experience. And not just for me, for a lot of creators uh, that we talk to here from IH and, and GIH and, and otherwise. But anyways, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the comparison of the Ally and the Claw in Cyberpunk 2077. Let us know your experience down in the comments below. Thanks again for coming to watch. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one.